Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss about conceptual understanding of overview pages. So shortly called OVP components. So in this, there will be FPM OVP component. This is the majorly used component. And in this, there will be multiple pages. So multiple pages we can have in this. Next, in this, again in every page, there will be multiple UI pages. These are also called as user interface building blocks. So at the bottom of the page, on top of the page, there will be global toolbar. Every global toolbar will have buttons. So we can approve or reject or save anything. What is the sequence to create a overview application? So first there will be web info application. Next there will be application configuration. So application will work with application configuration in runtime and then it will be linked to OVP component. Now OVP component will have FPM UIVB components. So in this we will have feeder classes buttons, feeder fields configurations etc. Under this buttons will be created and at final wiring will be done on the UIVBs. Now FPM adaptable OVP. This is the majorly used one because we will use context based adaptations. In that there will be two types of component usages. First one is CBA. So it will come under FPM adaptable OVP only. In that there will be schema and then schema means it is like condition and FPM OVP component. Now guys in NWBC when we navigate we will be able to see all these tabs at the top. So if we go into customer governance, for example, I am just for an example, I am showing you it is a customer governance tab. So in this customer maintenance will be there. So if you go inside this, there will be search customer. So inside customer maintenance. Here at first there will be search options. So we can select based on search criteria and accordingly results list will be shown or else in re result list. We can clearly add one new organization that is one option. So from here we can navigate generally when we are new to MDG everyone will tell like we have to right click here and then navigate into that particular UI configuration. But guys there is another way from which we can understand more detailed from UI perspective by navigating from this we will we will not get enough knowledge in fpm because if you go into technical help we will directly go into the component configuration but we don't understand how this application is being built so guys this application actually initiates from one application we can see here so bs bp ovp BS OVP BP. This is an application, but this is built on top of WebDay Pro. So, to understand this concept from the previous video, the one which I showed at first, to understand that concept, I will show you by navigating from SCAT. So, here in SCAT, let's open WebDyne Pro configuration. So, at first we are we have to understand this is built on top of WebDyne Pro. FPM is built on top of WebDyne Pro. That means this framework we can directly open in WebDyne Pro browser. So now I am showing FPM adaptable OVP. So overview page. This is an adaptable overview page. So that adaptable means this will have CBA component. So we as we know business partner will also have CBA. So it supports CBA. That is why we have to check here and first we have to go to WebDyne Pro applications. So in WebDyne Pro applications we have to find out this one. If you go down, we will be able to see BS OVP BP. So this is the one which we have to find out. 
here when we directly click on execute on double clicking this there will be execute option test or execute but here if you directly execute it will open from bp but what we want is it has to open from customer so in every application there will be a different application configurations which will be which will have specific properties that means this application has been built but this application doesn't know by which property it has to get initiated so those properties will be exi existing inside application configurations so that is why let's go to bs ovp cu so from here well, let's navigate display configuration same application if we click on execute we will be able to see same page which we have initiated from nwbc same page it will get initiated here there is no difference same pages will be there it will get initiated from this one directly from web den pro layer now this is the one these are component usages so first component usage is bs ovp bp this is cba component if you go into this you will be able to see only cba related stuff this cba schema now let's go back and understand how overview page is being built in this particular application configuration we will be able to see component usages we have created these two sap has crea created these two and in that cba there will be adaptation related thing and now in this configuration there will be overview page so let's scroll down here these are all application level settings so this comes under application configuration so if you create any other application configuration suppose this is related to customer that's why they have maintained usmd otc so this object identifier code as 159 so if you open business partner it will have some other number 147 something if you open supplier it will have some other number so th 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 there is the difference in this parameter settings which comes under application configuration that is why an application should be linked to one application configuration in order to reuse that application in different different ways so these component usages here will get derived from here so if you go into fm adaptable ovp here we can double click this object and we will be able to see user components here ovp so here just we they have mentioned this component is used so that is why this fpm ovp component is used inside fpm adaptable ovp so that is why in the ui when we are configuring this ovp ovp component has came now he, here bscu ovp is mentioned this is the overview page this is the component so this comes under fpm ovp component if you double click this one it will directly navigate into that now we can see fpm ovp component here now component configuration so here we don't use application or anything because this application is getting initiated from fpm adaptable ovp from that this is getting used this particular configuration so this component configuration we have to check this one bscu ovp will be present here bscu ovp so let's see here we can see bscu ovp this one so this customer ovp page this one is used there so you can directly display configuration from here or else if you want if you want to check from here directly we can click on this it, it will get navigated into overview page here in this page we will be able to see multiple sections so in 
this is called page first page this is these are another edit pages these are all pages and every page will be represented by one page id so these will be helpful when we are configuring pages so from from first page to second page when we have to navigate that uh, those things will be mentioned in these configurations at the uibb level now let's understand this one now all the form uibbs are composite uibbs or list uibbs or uh, three uibbs like that uh, any uibb can be added here they have added here composite window composite uibb for example so inside composite uibb we will be able to see again some set of uibbs in this is directly uibb list uibb so i am just going into composite uibb now we will be able to see three uibbs which are combined together into composite uibb now if you go inside again now we will be able to see form form you form uibb so if you want to add any fields in this particular ui we can drag and drop that like that we will be able to create uibbs form uh, so in this particular sequence so if you go back in composite uibb in composite uibb also there will be wiring so let's identify check here wire schema will be there here there will be wires wire plug so these two wiring has been added here so this one wiring is uh, responsible for transferring of data between two or more uibbs so if you maintain any wire between form uibb and uh, list uibb from that form uibb into uh, list uibb the data will be flowed so we can access the data from form uibb inside that list uibb that is the concept of wiring now i am coming back to here component configuration here here so many wiring will be there wire schema if you go into this wire schema we will be able to see a numerous number of wires because there are multiple uibbs mentioned here all uibbs will have wiring so this is the sequence so let's have an overview first we have to create one application next we have to go to application configuration next we have to go to component usages in that component usages this one will be mentioned fpm ovp component so inside fpm ovp component in that particular component configuration will be there in component configuration individual uibbs will be there either form uibb or list uibb or tree uibb or composite uibb or tabbed uibb any type of uibb will be there inside that so inside that uibb if you go inside there will be feeder classes and fields mentioned there so those fields which will be we will see in those uibbs those fields will come from feeder classes so feeder classes are mainly responsible for giving repository of the fields so that we can drag and drop there that is like field catalog this is called so after that we have to go back to main window that is the one which we are in and then we have to create any toolbar schema if we want to create any buttons in the ui then we have to go to toolbar schema or else we have to directly go to wire schema and then create the wires because there will in real time scenarios we want the data to flow from one uibb to another uibb so that is why wiring is required that is the overall concept of overview page thank you guys